Hello everyone, I would like to introduce to you my favorite Louis Vuitton bag. It is the Eden Speedy, correctly pronounced Eden Speedy, and um, it is part of the limited edition, limited edition 2010 collection. Yeah. Collection Printemps Été 2010 Louis Vuitton, the Spring Summer Collection of 2010. Um, the inside looks like that. Sorry, it's a bit dirty. My makeup gets everywhere. Has two pockets and the very nice metallic um, markings inside. There are many things that are unique about this Speedy as opposed to other ones, apart from its very beautiful um, design, the unique design. They, um, and I'll talk about them in a minute, but they came in two colors, the Peche, the Peach, which is this version, and the Argent, which is the silver version. At first, I thought that the monogram canvas was the same color until I went into the shop and I compared the two and the Argent one, the silver one, the monogram canvas is, a no is the normal monogram canvas, it's like a dark brown. But on the Peche version, it is almost like a, a rosy kind of pearlescent brown. It's very nice. It almost looks um, auburny compared to the, compared to the regular monogram and the Argent version. I love this bag because it is understated. You can't really tell it's a Louis until you're up close and obviously you can see the markings on the buttons and certain angles you can see the motif like that. Um, I do know that um, there are some videos and um, some people saying that you shouldn't put the lock on the tab. However, on this bag, they treated the leather and uh, I think it's, it's very thick. I think they bound two, the two pieces together and they reinforced it. So it's actually really, really strong, tough and durable. So this lock has been on my bag for about a year now and it hasn't drooped or anything because of... Um, because of the thickness of the tab. And I love the lock on there. I think it's really cute. <laughs> and um, and I love that too, how the metallic leather is under the tabs as well. Very unique. And what's also very cool about this bag is it's the only Speedy that has links to put the shoulder strap on so you can wear it across your body or over the shoulder. Um, also, it's the only speedy of its size. It's actually a perfect 28. So for those of you who think the 25 is a bit too small, including myself, and the 30 is massive, which I think it is as well, when I saw this, I'm, I actually got this bag because of its size. I love the speedy um, design, but the 28, the size, is perfect. And also, they didn't use the wraparound method. You can see the bottom. It has feet, and it's reinforced with the leather lining the strips. So, LV monogram is upright all over the bag. And also what's really great about them doing this is that it keeps its shape better than the other speedies because it isn't just one um, piece of material. They, they use four different parts actually. So it kind of retains its squareness here, retains its shape better. To show you how big the bag is, I will put a bottle of wine <laughs> inside and you'll see how much room still there is in there. So there's a bottle of wine, and that's one bottle, and I would say you could probably fit about five bottles of wine in here, five to six bottles. Yeah, well, six bottles if it's really, really packed in, but yeah, five bottles easily. So there you have it. Um, what else can I say about this bag? Um, oh yes, 
another thing you have to be careful. I've seen it on the other models as well, like the No, and the Irene also uses this metallic kind of um, lambskin. It tends to crack. It's not everywhere, thank God. It's you can't really even see it unless you look really, really close. And you can see it where the handles are because I guess it's, it gets the most tension and stress around the leather there. But yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, see, it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, there you go. See, it cracks a little bit. And it's inevitable. I mean, you're going to take it out, you're going to use the bag. Also, if you're wondering why my leather is so even, I do treat it. I treat it with... Um, with oil. Oh no, it's getting blurry. Oh, there we go. I treat my leather with um, with baby oil gel, Vaseline. Vaseline's baby oil gel, but the, not just any one. It's the Brazilian nut one. And um, I'll use other exotic oils on it. But I, I mean, I've had my Louis for about a year now, and it's in beautiful condition. I do use it all the time. And the funny thing about the oil is it will obviously oxidize it, it only does it like a very slight shade, like half a shade whenever you do it. And of course it gets a little bit dark every time you do it, but it also retains that color. It actually prevents it from oxidizing further because I guess it puts some sort of protecting, protecting coat over it maybe. Maybe from the moisture in the air, I'm not sure. And especially that I'm in England, um, I noticed that my Louis Vuitton bags tend to um, oxidize quicker here. So considering this bag is about a year old and it's still quite, it's not even to the honey stage yet, it's still quite um, um, tan, you know. It's not quite to the dark honey yet. But there you have it, and I hope you enjoyed my video.